everyone, my name is Jackie and welcome to my course. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to design these backpack charms. I decided to design these because I was really tired of my backpack just being super boring and plain, so I made these to add a little style to my backpack. Go ahead and open Autodesk Fusion 360 and we can get started. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is import the image of the feather. You can use this image as a guideline to create the charm. Click on import in the top menu and select detached canvas. Select the plane where you want to import the image. For this, we are going to use the top plane. Then click on the image icon and select the image from your folder or desktop. Resize the image by right clicking on it and selecting calibrate. We select the two bottom corners and type in the new dimensions we want to resize the image to. I'm making mine 60 millimeters long. Now that we have the guideline image, we can start creating the feather. We start a new sketch on the top plane. Using the spline tool, we draw the profile of the feather vein. For this part, don't worry about the feather quilt, we're going to do it afterwards. Also, if the profile is not immediately precise, we can fix it by moving the points and using the handles. If needed, you can fix the sketch until you are happy with the result. Now select the Extrude tool in the Create section of the top menu. Select as Profile the sketch of the feather vein and set as distance 3 mm, which is a good thickness to make a backpack charm. In the next step, we're going to be creating the quill. We hide for now all the bodies, clicking on the bulb in the left menu. This way we can see the image we imported. We start a new sketch on the top menu and again, using the spline tool, we draw the profile of the quill. I'm making the tip shorter and rounded. Fix the spline shape if you need to, like we did before, moving the points and handles. Now turn on the bodies again and select the extrude tool in the top menu. Set as profile the sketch and as direction two sides. We are going to extrude in both directions. We drag the arrows and we extrude one millimeter in the bottom direction and four millimeters in the top direction to create different thickness and make the feather a little more interesting. So to use this feather as a charm, we're going to need to add a ring at the end of the quill. To do this, we're going to use the Taurus tool in the Create section of the top menu. We create it on the top plane, but we want to make it as a new body so we can move the torus in a more appropriate position. Select the Move tool in the Modify section of the top menu and move the torus until you are happy with the result. Make sure that the torus intersects the quilt to create a single body. And our feather charm is done. Now you can 3D print your charm and also scale it to print it in different dimensions to create a charm with more than just one feather. So now we're going to save the project in Autodesk Fusion 360 Cloud as Feather Charm. Once it's saved, you'll notice that the new name appears at the top of the left menu. Right click on the new name to open the secondary menu and select Save as STL. Thank you so much for checking out my course today. Go ahead and upload your designs. I would love to see them. Check out more courses on kirakira.com.